Good morning, everyone. Day two of our elk slash dad's last day of his, uh, that he can shoot a deer. Shoot elk with me the rest. We're, we're both hunting elk the whole, the next five days, um, or four days, four and a half, I don't know what it is, but dad has a multi-season deer, so he can shoot a deer as well. We just saw a deer. And, uh, we started off today in the same... Now we came up the backside, so where we're at right now is where the elk crossed the, the hill yesterday, and we came up on the backside of the hill. And just to see if we, maybe if they so happened to do the same thing that they did yesterday, we would cut them off kind of a thing, but they weren't up here. But uh, we did just jump a deer, a doe, down below us, and uh, she uh, didn't stick around. Not that he can't shoot does, has to be a three-pointer better if he's going to shoot a deer. But yeah, today's the last day for him to get a deer up here if he's going to get it done with his muzzleloader. Otherwise, he's got to wait for rifle for the next opportunity to shoot a deer. Our main objective today is to really find an elk. And uh, that's the hope. So, and try and relocate these elk that we saw yesterday. Somebody, somebody or something killed an elk here before. I think it's somebody because there's, well, maybe not though, I don't know. Rib or the spine is right there. Jaw bones. This is basically what Samson killed all those Philistines with. <laughs> Jaw bone of a donkey. Definitely a spike in here. He really got those trees good. <laughs> Two and a half hours into our hike. All we've seen is a lot of rubs. A lot of rubs. Some, some, there's like elk droppings and everything, like, but they're not like super new. Or old, or a couple days at least. No elk, man. We've, we've, uh, like I said, we're two hour, two and a half hours into this hike, and I haven't even heard of elk. We bugled a few spots, cow called, done all that. Found a couple wallows and like little ponds and things like that. As much sign as in here, you'd think by just walking the road, the woods, you'd run into them here and there. But so far, that's not been the case for us. But it's only a matter of time, I think, before it happens. <laughs> All right, y'all, back at the truck. Uh, no elk, no elk this morning. One deer, uh, wallows, that's about it. That's all we really saw. Rubs, wallows, burned about 2,000 calories. Fun little morning hunt. Uh, this though, Those elk are not in this area, or they're not, I don't know where they went. I, I My theory is yesterday morning when we saw them, they must have got pushed by some other hunters, came up over this and just like this area where we saw them is not their core area. That's just my, what I'm coming to the conclusion of is that this is just not where they're, this is not their core area. It's not where they stay. They just were kind of moving through it to get away from people. And uh, so we kind of got to find where they stay. Like where, where did they get bumped at? Cause I'm sure they went back. Is, is kind of what I'm thinking, so.
know, we're uh, sitting up on top of the ridge here, looking back over at our camp and everything that's all behind our camp, which is where Brad and Sheldon have been going. And uh, I can see the camp. They're not at our camp, which is kind of a good sign because uh, it's 12 o'clock. Last yesterday, they were back by this time, or roughly, roughly this time, and uh, I don't see them on the road or anything. So that means they're back there still pretty good, and maybe that means they got one. Fingers crossed when we get back to camp. They're coming back with a load of meat, and then we get to pack out an elk. That's that's the hope. Somebody shot an elk. Not you guys. We were a little too early. Early? They shot it after you? After you went in there? We literally talked. We went. So remember I said there's a, just past my road? Yeah. There's a little road with a log across it. Yeah. We went to the end of that, and we I was calling off the top of it, and then we started, and we were like, I turned around, I looked, and I was like, oh, the knob's like 300 yards above us. Uh -huh. I was like, let's go to the knob. So we start walking through the clear cut. And all of a sudden, I hear branch break behind me off to the left. And I look over, and there's two hunters. And the guy, he had seen me because he was waving at me. And I was like, so I went and I talked to him. I said, hey, what's your plan? And he's like, well, what's your plan? And I was like, well, we're going to go up that knob and glass, and then we're going to hike the, up to the top of the ridge uh -huh. to the road. He goes, okay, well, we'll go two, three hundred yards to that way, and then we'll hike up through the timber. I get to the knob, and he's standing. I look I look down, and he's 60 yards below me. I was like, heck, dude. <laughs> 20 minutes later, all of a sudden, we right below 200, 300 yards from us. Boom! Five seconds. Boom! And there was cows and bugles and all that stuff for the next... Minutes. Could have got a cow. I Could have had cow tags. I was less of a to show them. I go, wish I would have asked them what they were hunting for. Yeah. Because <laughs> they could have got a buck too. Or they could have had a bull tag. You know, they could have had a big yeah, bull tag. They could have had a lot of things. So, so well, somebody, well, somebody shot one back there, but, or at least had a. Yeah. They had a. They shot at they something back there. They either got one or, or they at least shot at one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What time did you guys get back here? Just a little bit ago? Just that's what I thought, because we were up there on the knob, over there, there somewhere. We were somewhere over there. We walked, uh -huh. and then uh, we could see camp, and I'm like, nobody's there. There's nobody at camp. Maybe they, maybe y'all got one. So I was hoping y'all got one, but this close. Yeah, it's right here. Sounds like it. So far, this evening's hunt, just like this morning's, except for this morning we saw some deer. This evening we haven't seen a darn thing. Just a lot of sign. There's a, there, the evidence is here that the animal, the elk are here. We just haven't seen one. Me and Dad are just uh, still at eight deer. Seen eight deer today. Doing a lot of hiking. We're at like uh, I don't know. I'll, a lot, a lot of steps today. 23,000 is what my watch says right now. And we got, I don't know, two miles back to the truck. Uh, we just did this huge, like, climbed way up this mountain, did a big loop, and now we're coming back. This is like our mm, third time we've done something like this today. So, and nothing, no elk today. I haven't heard one. I bugle, 
They don't talk back. Calco, they don't talk back. I don't know. I don't know. But we're not gonna give up. We're gonna keep trying. So, see what happens. Cows? Yeah, three cows. Oh, guys, we're driving to a new area. Came around the corner. And then those guys like, there's elk right in the road. And there's three cows in the road. Finally saw some elk today. Just saw two deer back that way. This is a road, like, we're just a brand new road. We're just like, after our hike, we just decided, let's go hike, let's go try and find something. And, uh, so we're just like looking for new roads and found this one. And we've only been on it for 10 minutes. And we just saw two deer over there, came around the corner, and there's three elk in the road, so. All right, y'all, so back at camp. Look at the lovely tent. Look at this, this is where I'm sleeping, dad's sleeping, Brad and uh, Sheldon. Or, well, you can't even see it. But you can't even see them. Wave at me, Sheldon. Nope, can't see you. But there is a trailer over there, guys, just believe me. There's a little travel, well, I don't know. There's a trailer over there, they're sleeping in that. And uh, anyway, today, just that's those three elk that we saw. We saw those three elk in the road and uh, 10 deer. And uh, that's it. And what you guys did you guys see an elk this morning or do you just saw you heard the shot? Just a shot and the bugles and the cow calls. And just the shot. You didn't actually see an elk. Nope, you just no. heard, but you heard the shot. You heard the elk running and all that kind of stuff. You could hear elk cow or calling. You could hear it calling. We could hear all the calling, yeah. Yeah. And we saw one grouse. Oh, we saw a grouse, finally. We saw a grouse today. Like, yeah. Fly away from us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah they don't we did see they a grouse really today. See. Yeah, we saw a grouse. Uh, but that's it. So, that's day two. Stay tuned. Keep your eyes out for day three's video. Thanks for watching.